Let's take a look at a few of the annotation tools. First is the pen tool. You can see I'm just going ahead and writing using a blue thin pen. Key things you need to know about these tools are the attributes at the bottom. I can change colors. I can select a different line thickness just by using the drop down menu and change the dash characteristics. So now I have a red dash pen. I want you to pay attention to these attributes because they're going to be consistent through many of the annotation tools. So again, I'm just going to change my color, change the line style. Go ahead and again try another line with different characteristics and this is what we want you to do is go ahead and try different characteristics and find what attributes you like. So for example, the yellow doesn't show up well so I'm going to change that color. I have yellow selected clicked on the color palette, chose a new color. You see how yellow has now been replaced on the attributes bar? And there's my pen tool. Now what I'm gonna do is I opened up a document I found on the web and I'm gonna do some highlighting with the highlighter tool. I've selected the highlighter pen and you'll see this little icon in to the right of the color palette. There are actually three highlighter pens. The very top pen is a highlighter, which allows it to act just like a highlighter pen. I can change the line thickness, and again, I can change the color. The second highlighter pen is a boxing highlighter, which allows me to just click and drag around something, give it a nice, clean, crisp boxing characteristics. The third highlighter pen is a oval circle. And again, all I'm doing is, you know, putting the pen tip to the Moby and dragging. When I pick up the pen, that's when I'm done. Just like my other attributes, I can change the colors to the five active colors I would like. And each one of these pens will maintain its own color attributes based off the way they were left. The next tool I'd like to show you is the shapes tool. One thing that's unique about the shapes tool is if you notice on the attributes bar, there's two sets of colors. This color represents the outside of the shape, while these colors represent the fill or filling the inside of the shape. So I'm going to select a shape right here from my preview. And just touch it. It gives me all available shapes. I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. And see that's what it looks like so if I come up into the screen I just touch and drag when I'm done lift the pen tip I want to change the outside of that to be green I want it to be a little thicker and I want it to be that attributes for the outside and I want the inside to be that color so now I can see it in my preview I come up and then I can draw that shape with those attributes Again, if I click on my preview window, it shows me all available shapes. These shapes will also hold the attributes of the last time I used them. So for example, the rectangle with rounded edges had a red exterior and it had a yellow interior. So again, I can pre-program these shapes to have the attributes that I would like ready at my disposal to be drawn. Now let's look at our next tool which is the line tool. If you ever needed a straight line this is where the line tool will come in handy. Again use the attributes that you would like. Have the style, the color, the thickness, the end attributes. Get it to the way you'd like and all you do is touch the Moby tip to the Moby and drag and when when you get the line where you'd like it, you just lift the Moby tip off the Moby.